Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to this video tutorial on Fetch AI. In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the advantages of purchasing FET on Binance and even Binance US as opposed to Coinbase. And then we're gonna talk about the easiest way to stake those FET tokens. Now, about two years ago, I did a couple of videos on FET because I was purchasing some at the time. And with the recent increase in volume with FET, and it seems to be doing quite well, uh, Soccer World 4025 left me a comment saying that I should probably update my video, especially given the fact that the Fetch AI team has come out with their own browser-based plugin wallet, which you can see right here. And I was unaware that this was an option, and I had been using the iPhone Cosmo Station app for quite some time. Uh, so this is a great option, and I'm gonna be covering this, and we're gonna dig into how the easiest way to get your FET tokens over here into this browser extension from which you can stake and claim your FET tokens and claim your rewards from the staked FET tokens. And so let's go ahead and talk about how we would do that. Now, the easiest way to do this is to purchase your FET tokens on Binance, whether it's Binance US or Binance non-US, that's gonna be the best way to do it because Binance is fully integrated with the Fetch AI mainnet meaning you do not have to use Ethereum to transfer those FET tokens. So if you get a Binance.us account, you can buy Fetch, uh, the Fetch AI FET tokens, and you can use the Fetch AI, Fetch AI mainnet to transfer those tokens into this little browser extension right here. So how do you get this browser extension? Well, the only thing you'd have to do is be using the Chrome web browser or Brave or any other Chromium-based web browser, pretty much, but I think you would stick with Chrome or Brave and you would go ahead and install it. It's that easy, right? Super, super simple. Now, there are other options here. You can use the Cosmo Station web plugin. However, that plugin is right here. It is not as user intuitive as the Fetch AI or Fetch Hub wallet. Uh, and I don't see how you can stake and claim from within inside this web extension, this Cosmo Station wallet web extension. And again, I'm focusing here on the Fetch Hub wallet. And again, Soccer World 4025, big shout out. I was completely unaware that this was, this was available. So there it is. So how do we purchase our tokens? Well, if you purchase them on Binance, you're all set. It's gonna be very simple. However, what happens if you purchase those tokens on Coinbase? Well, here's the problem. If you're purchasing FET tokens on Coinbase, these are ERC-20 Ethereum-based FET tokens. You're gonna to get an Ethereum FET address. And you can see, whoops, you can see right here that that is an Ethereum address. If it was a Fetch mainnet address, it would begin with Fetch followed by your address. So this is an Ethereum-based address. So if you buy your FET tokens on Coinbase, you're going to have to get those tokens over to the Fetch mainnet somehow. Now, uh, if you buy them on Binance, you can see that you can use the Fetch AI mainnet with a native Fetch address right here to make that transfer into that Fetch Hub wallet, right? Super simple. Coinbase, not so much. But let's say uh, that you have a Binance account and you have Coinbase. You can avoid bridging tokens by using Binance as the bridge, right? So you would buy the tokens, you could buy your FET tokens on Coinbase, and then the fee, as you can see here, and this is using the Ethereum network to transfer these FET tokens from Coinbase to Binance. And the fee is $2.25. That's pretty cheap. Now, you'll notice I'm sending a dollar in FET, so I was like, well, maybe the, the fee goes up if we get a little trickier here. I went ahead and modeled a $200 uh, FET send from Coinbase over the Ethereum network with a network fee of $2.25, right? So not bad at all. 
in terms of using Binance as the bridge. So you buy the FET tokens on Coinbase, if, if that's what you're gonna do, or maybe you just happen to have a whole bunch of there and they're ERC-20 based, or you've got FET somewhere else that's ERC-20 based, you could send it to Binance and once it's on Binance, and I've done this, right? I went ahead and did this a couple times just to make sure. Once it's on Binance, you can then use the FET main net for pennies on the dollar and transfer it from Binance into the FET wallet web browser extension that exists right here. And again, this is how I kind of uh, sent this FET over here, right? So that's how you do it. Now, how do you stake it? Well, it's as simple, you already saw, is all I have to do now is say stake. It's gonna load the validators. Again, be very careful here because some of these validators like Binance staking is taking 10% commission where you can come down to all nodes who takes no commission from you. So I could click on that. You're gonna get a little you know, write up as to what's going on here with all nodes, what they do, what the commission rate is, how many FET tokens are delegated there. Uh, and you can see if you've earned anything, you could even claim it out here. And the APR is 9.77, so not bad. On Coinbase, you cannot stake your FET tokens. And I don't know if that's something that they're planning on doing or trying to figure out how to do, but you can't stake your FET tokens on Binance. So why not send them, or I'm sorry, on Coinbase, apologies. You, you can't stake them on Coinbase. I don't believe you can stake them on Binance either. Uh, but again, the friend that I made the video for a couple years ago was getting all this stuff on buying uh, FET on Coinbase and trying to figure out how to get it onto the Fetch mainnet. So what are we gonna do? Well, let's stake one and I'll say stake. Uh, you can see that we get to pick our fee. And again, not much of a difference between average and low. I'll click approve. And my available balance should change uh, any second now to probably 0.249. And you can see it's still kind of thinking here about what it's gonna do. But again, you can do it all right here in this Fetch Hub wallet. So I, would, I wouldn't recommend the Cosmo Station wallet. I've got some introductory uh, information here that you can look at, or they have in introductory information that you can look up here and see how to use the Cosmo Station wallet. But again, I didn't see how you could stake and claim out of that web browser extension, right? That you can here with the Fetch wallet. Let's float back over here. It should be done by now, and it is. So you can see I've got 1.5 FET that are staked. If I clicked on claim, I don't think there's anything to claim yet. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've got anything to claim yet. And you would see, if you had rewards, you would see them right there as well. Should have looked there first, uh, but again, this is the way to go, super simple. Download the Fetch Wallet browser extension. If you've got Binance and you're gonna buy it on Binance, you're dialed in, right? Here's your uh, address, throw it into the send field on Binance and send it right here over the Fetch AI mainnet. If you've got them on Coinbase, set up a Binance account, roll it into Binance and then use Binance as the bridge, super simple. All right, well, that is going to do it for this video tutorial and update. And actually, uh, one last thing that I, that I definitely forgot to mention here, and that is the following. Okay, well, that's great that I've got it here, but what if you want to bridge it back from the Fetch AI mainnet back to ERC-20 tokens? And this is where... They've got this feature right here. You can bridge native FET back over to ERC-20 FET on Ethereum. And I'm telling you right now, this is not how you wanna do it. So I'm gonna click on bridge. And there's a couple things you need to be aware of. There is a 50 FET bridging fee. And at last check, it's at 70 cents. So that's gonna cost you $35 uh, in fees, right? And in addition to that, if you go to bridge from the Fetch AI mainnet back over to Ethereum, the minimum send, sorry, the minimum send is 100. And actually, let me put in what I have here, 0.2. And you can see it tells you 
amount too small. So you'd have to send a minimum of 100 FET and you're going to be paying a 50 FET bridging fee, which again is going to fluctuate based on the price of FET, right? So to do this, you're going to be paying a substantial fee to get it back over. My recommendation, again, this I have not modeled, would be send it back to Binance using the Fetch AI mainnet address, and then try to send it back to Coinbase using the Ethereum network. And my guess is that that is not going to be $35. At least I would hope it wouldn't be $35. So that would be the, the rough part there. Uh, what you could do when you get it back onto Binance is you could either swap it or sell it and buy something else that you would send to and, uh, Adam, for example, right? You can buy Adam on, uh, for, on Binance uh, using the FET, sell the FET, buy Adam, and then send the Adam to Coinbase. And right there, you're avoiding a massive fee right? If, if the Ethereum fee is going to be huge because you can use the native Cosmos address for the Atom and you'd be sending it for, again, a fraction of what you would be using to use uh, the Ethereum blockchain, right? So definitely some different ways to get around it. Again, to get it here into this wallet, buy it on Coinbase, send it to Binance, use Binance as your bridge, and then use the Fetch AI mainnet to dump it into your wallet here. Or if you've already got Binance, right, and that's your primary exchange, then you can skip the Coinbase step. Again, I was helping a buddy with Coinbase, and I wanted to point that out because a lot of people use Coinbase, and they're buying FET, and then they can't figure out, why can't I send the FET from Coinbase into my Fetch AI, either into the wallet or the Cosmo station or whatever the case may be. All right, well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Hopefully, I've saved you some fees, made it easier for you to get into FET. Again, full disclosure, yeah, I've got a pretty decent bag of FET, so not shilling it. I'm just trying to help people out there save some money, especially on the bridging fees. Again, shout out to Soccer World 4025 This definitely needed an update, and here it is. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Have a safe and happy new year. This is probably it for me until 2024, so... Again, be safe. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I've earned uh, the privilege of your time and I will see you in the next video.